Hello everyone. So recently I bought a new laptop from Acer. It's the Swift 3 version. And yeah, I would like to install uh, Q-tip quantum optics toolbox in this computer, uh, Windows 10. So let's see, we are going to learn it together. So first thing what we can do is we can go to Google and possibly look for this Q-tip documentation. So I will type Q-tip documentation. Let's see what it says. So yeah, here's the documentation about Q-tip. So I'm assuming you know a bit about uh, quantum optics simulations and you know that Q-tip is a free uh, uh, version of these kind of toolboxes which is based on Python and uh, yeah this comes very handy for simulating for example atom cavity interaction atom photon interaction or any kind of quantum system whatever you want I'm just giving one example yes so for downloading maybe we can directly go and see what to do for downloads there there is some information about different versions this might not be so important so i would go for most probably installation so let's go for the installation how to install there might be some information here yes so this is the information about how to install so let's check this one 4.5 okay so yeah i check the installation yes so the general requirement seems to be that it needs to install python 2.7 above versions and then associated other softwares. Okay, so these are the general requirements. Fine, then. Okay, some information about platform independent installation. So it says Qtip is designed to work best when using Anaconda or Intel Python distribution that supports the Conda package management system. So, yeah, so Anaconda is one kind of environment where you can run uh, your. Python programming language, Python software. And once you have this, then one basically can install Qtip using this. So since my computer is new, so I do not have uh, Python installed. So I, I would try to install using this Anaconda environment. And then one needs to build Conda environment before installing Qtip. So there is some information here. Uh, yes, okay, maybe we'll need all these uh, commands for installing Python and then to install Jupyter Notebook. And finally, we need to create some Conda4 channel, I guess, before installing Qtip. And then finally, we could come back and install this Conda install Qtip. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing what we can do is we can go to anaconda.com. Anaconda uh, what's the problem? Oh, sorry. My mistake. Anaconda. Yes. So we want to install Anaconda first, and then on this environment, we'll install Python. So yes, one can go to products, then individual edition. If you want, you can read all this information, but I, I'm just interested in downloading this one. So I just press download. And since I'm using a Windows mach machine with 64-bit um, system, so I will just install this one. Now it starts downloading, so I will wait. It will take some time. Maybe we can skip this part. 
and let's fast forward the video directly go to the part where this is already downloaded and then obviously we are going to open this extension file where we'll be able to install anaconda then okay then let's wait for some time Still a few seconds left. It's almost done. I guess. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so I can just left click on this and open this extension file. This is the normal way you install any software in Windows. Okay, then yeah basically we can go for next yes license agreement i agree it's up to you i would just use the software for myself actually there are not many users in my laptop right now it's only one account so it's fine so next and then it tells the folder where it's going to install it that's okay here i would suggest to, to use this option remove this option so that directly includes the variable into this path so then install installing right now yes so it's installing And it's taking some time. So again, you can skip this part of the video and just directly go to the point where it is already installed. So okay, in the meantime, we can see what we have to do next. So we are building this conda environment. Right now we are here. Yes, so then we need to install it. Um, yeah, this Qtip environment or the Python version, whatever you installed with Anaconda. So let's wait, it's taking some time. Our next commands would be this, and then, yeah, whatever follows further. This one. Yeah, so in the meantime, okay, so once this installation is over, we'll go to the Anaconda, Anaconda prompt window because we'll have this new environment. Then we can create Qtip environment. The Python version, which is downloaded with Anaconda, and then we can install Matplot, Numpy, Cython, whatever is mentioned here. Good. And then we can add some Conda for channels, and then we should be more or less there. Okay, now it's progressing faster. Yeah, good. Now it's over. Right. So 
we are done with this. So this window I can just close right now. This part. So I'm just into so asking for registering. If you want. Yeah, so I'll keep only this part open. So now you can go and search here for an account of prompt. Ah, it's already there. Otherwise, you can just type for me this prompt window command window is already there. I just click on this. And now I'm on this terminal window. Command prompt window. Anaconda. And okay, basically, yeah, so that's what we discussed. I can just reduce the size of this one. So yes, so the first thing we do is copy this command, conda create and qtip involvement python. So I will not say python 3, I will just leave it python. You can choose depending on whatever you install it with this version. Okay, so just copy and paste here. Enter. It's installing. Let's see, everything is fine. We say yes. Good. Seems everything's working okay. Wait. Sorry. Still working. Is it over? Yeah, perfect. So this part is over. Okay, so then the next thing is yeah, to install whatever extra is required with this Python thing. So okay, I'm here, I go back to this one, copy paste this command, enter. Okay, so now let's check. I think this part is also done. Um, oh no, sorry. We need to say yes. It's still downloading, so this part is done. Then as I told you before, let's bring both of them together. Now, okay, so we have arrive to this part where we have to add conda for channels here so yes now you copy this command and again paste into into this into this terminal enter okay i think now we are ready to install qtip so now you can go back uh, here yeah the beginning of this file or uh, this documentation and yes so this is the command for installing qtip conda install qtip so i go back to conda prompt, anaconda prompt copy this thing here enter and now it's installing qtip so again it takes some time you can just skip this part of the video and directly uh, go to the portion where I'm going to test whether Qtip is installed properly or not. I would say yes here. Seems working fine. Ah, yeah, it's done. So I guess it's installed properly. So now let's go and check. Uh, yes, so basically I'm going to close this window now it's not required and yes so the next thing is to open a jupyter notebook which we require to run uh, python files type jupyter notebook here and once you press this this will open uh, connection to one of this web browser now you see we are using this jupyter terminal 
and then I know I already have a Qtip file in my downloads. So I can, ah, sorry, it was too fast. So I have a file vacuum Rabi oscillation, this IPYNB, this is like the IPython Jupyter notebook file. So I can open this. And it's not important what's there, this I can cover in the next videos. So the only important thing is I will just run this first part where I have imported matplotlib, I have imported numpy as np and qtip as qt. So if qtip is installed properly, this command should run and it will not show any error. So let's check. So you press shift and enter, select this. So now it's running, you see this black dot here. Means it's running. Yeah, and yeah, and now it's over. So it means there was no error. So Qtip is installed properly. So you should not worry about this file. What exactly is there? I'm just running one by one the sections and trying to see whether it is plotting something properly or not. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So it's plotting the graph also. So it means our um, Qtip installation was successful. So yeah, so that's all. So see you in the next video.